Well, it's that time again. If you're subscribed to this channel, we've got more money opportunities for you. So I'm on the PTR right now, and there are some pretty colossal changes in here that, of course, are undocumented. Now, I was live streaming myself doing this, so a lot of this might not be completely possible anymore because hundreds and hundreds of people saw me exploring all this and answering questions and stuff. But there's things beyond what I told them that I didn't even mention there. And I'm going to go over all that with you. So first, the opportunities that are obvious that might be gone on a lot of servers already. And then we're going to go on to opportunities that are have arisen because of those opportunities. And I'm going to think uh, see if anything else I can think of while I'm here. I'm going to throw it all at you because there are many different changes that are going to affect the prices of many different things. So be sure to check every single one and make sure that it's reasonable still in price and then buy it up or sell it now or move it however, convert it or whatever makes sense for what I'm about to tell you and then do it now. Do it as fast as you can and get it over with. Now the first two changes a lot of people know about now but you can check your server and see if they haven't yet and then there's some things because of this. First one's gonna be the smelter. So there's two major new things here. The first one is that Tolvium and Cinnabar can now be crafted at 200 smelting. This requires 250 ore calcum ore to do per cinnabar. Now this has a cooldown and we assume it doesn't pop, I don't know, it's not popping up right now, but it was popping up before and it was saying you can do 10 at a time and it's assumed that it is once per day, but we have physically no way to test it because on the PTR there are no tier five smelters, even if I had smelting level 200. So maybe in a few days we'll get some smelters tier 5 on the PTR, but uh, it's doubtful knowing PTR. We'll see, though. So we're just going to assume it's once a day. If it's once a day, that's 5,000 ore calcum ore that you'll need per day. So what does that mean? Well, what I kept telling people on stream was to buy up all ore calcum ore on your server to 0.30. The reason I say that, that was just kind of a ballpark number. You want to look at it, do it relative to your server. What you're going to be doing is saying, how much, like at what price will I convert it and it not make sense? So at 0.3, if you convert this, if you're paying 0.3 each for the Aura Calcum, then you're paying 75 each for Tolvium Cinnabar, which on a lot of servers, that's a pretty good deal. But that's why you got to check your prices. Some servers, Tolvium Cinnabar might only be worth 50. And if that's the case, then you only want to pay up to 0.2 maximum. I wouldn't even go that high. And the reason being, once this change goes through, Tolvium and Cinnabar are going to go down in price because people can make 10 per day uh, of each. Now you might think, oh, well, you know, that's nothing compared to how much you can mine. It's already at whatever price. But the problem, the difference is that there are going to be all these people who never go out and mine the Aura Calcum. I personally never mine Aura Calcum. But if Aura Calcum is cheap enough, I'll convert it. Why not? I'll convert it and sell it back and use my daily cooldown or whatever. Sure. So you can expect Tolvium and Cinnabar to go down. So the two things to do here is buy Aura Calcum if it's, if it's super, super cheap, which is doubtful because so many people saw my live stream. But if it is, check it anyway. You never know. And keep an eye on it all the way till this comes out. This might come out next week if we're lucky, so maybe next Wednesday or the following week, we'll have to see. The other thing that you're going to want to do is that if you have Tolvium, Cinnabar, or Asmodium, you're going to want to sell it now before this PTR change goes through. If there are any buy orders that are a decent deal, just go ahead and unload it to them. Just get rid of your Tolvium and Cinnabar because after the PTR comes out, after a few days, these prices will inevitably fall. It's it's almost guaranteed. I don't want to say it's guaranteed, but I don't see why it wouldn't. The supply is higher. To the best of my knowledge, you can still get Tolvium and Cinnabar from Aura Calcum nodes. Though I have not tested it myself, but one person told me they got one. So I'm just assuming that's yes, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll have to see. But I would get rid of it now. And then the other big change here is if you notice, there's two Aura Calcum ingots here. Well, one of these, instead of using star metal, it uses platinum ingots. That's right, platinum ingots. So if platinum ingots are cheap on your server, then go ahead and buy them. My general rule of thumb was I was telling people to pay up to one coin a piece for them, uh, but this one's speculative. I have no idea what it'll go to. Uh, also, if you have star metal ingots that you're holding, I would sell them now before the price drops. 
uh, if you can. If the price already dropped, give it a few days, see if it comes back up, and then try to sell maybe. But definitely want to sell them before the patch goes through. But yeah, Platinum Ingots will go up. What, Where they will stabilize at, though, I really don't know. But if you're on a server where they're still selling for like 0.2 and stuff, just go buy those things up. It's, it's a good deal. But that's definitely not the only change. So let's take a look at the loom. Well, it's the same thing over here at the loom. You can now use wire fiber to make blister weave and scale cloth on the same cool. Now this one says it, so you cool down threshold 10. Now we don't know if it's once a day. We physically can't test it because there's no stations tier five, but we assume once a day. Hopefully not once a week. We assume once a day. So wire fiber is the same thing, but you're gonna have to do conversions on this on math and on your server. Now my server, my main server, um, scale cloth, blister weave are generally selling for like 60 a piece. So at that price, I would say you buy wire fiber to like 0.1 or 0.15 maximum because then you're paying like 30, 40 a piece for a 60 coin object on, you know, speculum futures, so to speak. But this is something, if, if your server's still selling these things for like 0.01, then go ahead and buy up all the wire fiber for 0.01. Definitely a good idea. You can't go wrong at those types of prices. Uh, and then this, this also applies to the other stations, which would be the wood shop where you can convert ironwood into barbed vine and wildwood which i would not recommend this one because generally ironwood sells for enough to where you will lose hardcore money doing that one so don't even bother with that one on most servers and then also you can convert iron hide to scar hide and smolder hide but don't pay very much for it because if you buy iron hide at 0.01 and it'll cost you 2.5 coins to make a scar hide smolder hide well, on most servers, these things have finally fallen so far in price. They're worth like five a piece, ten a piece, twenty a piece. So only pay zero point zero one for the iron hide, or maybe a little bit more if the scar hide, smolder hide is worth a lot on your server. But definitely keep that in mind when converting. Not much of room to make money here. And by that same logic, you're gonna want to sell your scar hide, smolder hide now before people convert it. Assuming there's no changes to the game that I haven't discovered yet in the PTR. I've not checked boar spawns. I've not checked drops. I've lost of stuff. So. Uh, definitely stay tuned for more information. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up with updates. I'll update you guys on the PTR if I find out some game-breaking thing like, oh my gosh, animals don't drop legendaries anymore or some insane thing. But so far, it all looks, it all checks out. It all looks like it's going to be okay. We haven't done a whole lot of testing, though, but it looks okay. But yeah, you're going to want to do the same thing with Blister Weave Scale Cloth. Sell your Blister Weave Scale Cloth, Phoenix Weave, and all that stuff now before this goes through. Sometime the next week, just try to unload it. Because after the change goes through, all those things will drop a little bit in price at least because of the influx of additional materials. But I got more to show you. But before that, there's another way to take advantage of this. So on a lot of servers, people are finding out about this and now they're paying too much. Because there's always people who freak out and go, oh my gosh, it's going to be worth money. I'll buy. And they don't do the math. So on some servers, you'll see things where you'll see Ironhide at 0.2 or you'll see Orichalcum Ore at a coin apiece. Or something like that, where they're basically paying like 200 or 300 coins a piece for the thing that they convert into. Now, if you happen to see opportunities like that, where it's you go you go on here and you're like, oh man, ore calcum ore is already up to like 0.6. You know what that means? That means that you need to go to Ebon Scale Reach or one of the other farming spots like Ambusti, and you need to go farm ore calcum nodes until you're burnt out and then go sell the ore calcum ore. You'll be able to run money routes for these materials and make way more money than you normally would. You'll be able to make thousands of coins an hour if those base materials are actually worth something. Now, a big one will be the wire weave. Now, I have different money routes for wire weaves. I have not done money routes for all the good money routes in the game. I have not had time to do that. I know of more, but I just have not had time to post them. But the ones that I have posted, I will put them in the description below the first paragraph and I will put the money routes first and then my other links that I normally put. So if you wanna look at some money routes for like where to farm, uh, good wire weave farming routes or good ironwood farming routes, I have some routes for some of that stuff and hopefully you'll be able to find one that works for you. But if you do it now, you'll actually make like 5,000 an hour, 10,000 an hour, something like that, just because the base material is so insanely inflated right now on some servers. Now, another opportunity, this one's not as crazy, so be careful with this one. Don't jump the gun on this one. So they've added the whole gypsum system, and one of the things is you can go to your camp, and you can craft at a tier 5 camp, I think it was. Yeah, camp tier 5. You can craft a topaz gypsum attunement potion. Now, the reason we don't want to freak out and buy too much stuff is because it has a cooldown, 
And according to the dev blog, apparently it's once a week you can make one potion. So it's not going to use a whole lot of this stuff, but it uses five of each of these things. And these are the things that you get from those like, you know, those, those random logs that have like little bugs on them and stuff and they give moats. That is one of these for each moat type. Now, normally on a lot of servers, these things are selling for like 0.2 all the way to like five coins a piece. So expect those to go up in price somewhat. So if you see them on your server for super cheap, like 0.2 or 0.3 or something like that, 0.6, then yeah, go ahead and buy them because you're not risking all that much. You know, if you buy 100 or 200 of these at 0.3 or something, you're not risking that much money. And maybe it'll go up to like two coins or three coins or something like that. And you'll make 10 times what you put in. Now you won't be able to put a lot of money in. You might be able to only buy like a thousand, 2000 coins worth, but then you can turn a thousand, 2000 coins into 10,000 coins or 5,000 coins or whatever, or turn 700 coins into 7,000 coins or something like that. So definitely look at all these ones. See if you can find any good deals, but don't go overboard. Don't be like, oh, they're at 0.3. Let me buy them all the way up to 10 a piece. Like that's just it's insane. Don't, don't do that. But definitely look for some money here. There's definitely an opportunity to make some money from this one. Now, before I move on to the next one, remember, if you bought any of these for cheap or if you already have these and you see them go way higher than the prices I'm telling you, just go ahead and sell them back or sell them now because a lot of times when something like this happens, there are always people who overbuy. So like when the news first breaks, maybe you should buy to say 0.3 and it'll just go up to like two. Just sell it. Just see if, if it goes, if you see something crazy like that in your server, not all servers will see things like that, but some servers will. And when they do, if you have any, just get rid of it. If you bought any, just sell it back. You don't need to wait till the patch. If you see it go up for a way too high of amount, just let it go. So another thing, I was told this actually is already live and I have not checked it, but apparently these give crazy XP now. So if this is already live, then, uh, and people haven't realized, that means you need to buy silver and gold ingots if you can find them for cheap. Now again, only buy them if they're cheap. Don't buy them if they're like one and a half gold or some crazy amount. If you see silver for like 0.2 a piece, or if you see the ore for like 0.05, or if you see gold ingots for like 0.3 or something, then just buy them up. Now, if they're already at like one gold or some crazy amount, don't even bother. Like, you know, maybe you'll make some money here or there on some servers, but it's not worth risking an obscene amount of money for like maybe 50% profit. I just it, don't even bother, right? Uh, but same thing, platinum is also insane now. So any of these, and if you are going to use these to get your jewel crafting up, don't do the setting. For whatever, well, the setting's fine on the silver one, but the gold one, I think it was. Yeah, if you're doing the gold, the setting was not as good as the hook and the chain in the band. Although, maybe I'm just doing the math wrong here, actually. Maybe it's okay. But either way, you get the point. You can make these. You can level up jewel crafting. So, take a look at those prices. And also, now that people need platinum, platinum uses gold, gold uses silver. So, this whole trifecta of materials are suddenly worth something. So, if you still see them cheap on your server, like point one and stuff, buy them all up. So there you have it. That's the last real money opportunity. Another thing to consider though is that even in the PTR, the uh, Dryad Wolves are still disabled and they actually have a UI for it. They actually went out of their way to make a UI to tell us they are disabled instead of just fixing them. Uh, the bears can be farmed now, but they only drop lodestone and they only drop like six lodestones. So we can assume that the wolves and the deer will do the same thing. So expect lodestone and weirdwood to continue their rise all the way to 0.3 to 0.8 a piece just like star metal so you know if you see any of that for super cheap maybe you buy it but don't go all in on something like that you know there's not a whole lot of wiggle room or something but consider doing money farming routes with those because there could be some room to make money on money farming routes for those but yeah that's the gist of all the changes on the ptr now if i think of something else i'll make another video where i'm like bye bye go 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 or whatever you know but uh these are all the ones that we found on the first day of the ptr now if any of these opportunities are still around jump on them if any opportunities are not around that means you can farm them and then sell them for thousands of coins an hour so get on it do something do one of the things i mentioned in this video Rewatch if you have to to get a handle on everything i said also consider subscribing to this channel so if i ever post these again whenever there's an update like this you can be one of the first people to know and maybe get lucky it's kind of getting harder and harder to get lucky because i have so many subs now but you know there's always that chance so definitely consider subscribing i post helpful new world information new world news new world guides new world money farms all sorts of different stuff all the time usually at least a video a day 
So yeah, consider subscribing for that. But that's it for this video. Hopefully one of these things works out for you make money. Not everybody makes money. Don't feel bad if you don't. Not everybody does. But maybe if you're lucky, you'll be one of the lucky ones and you'll get a ton of money with one of these crazy money tricks from taking advantage of changes coming to the PTR sometime maybe next week.